Hi guys, welcome back to Sleeve Saturday. So I was back at Malahoy Castle again yesterday for another gig. This time it was to see the Irish pop rockers picture this. Although forming in 2015 and releasing two albums by 2019, it was really 2020's third studio record, Life in Colour, that got them on my radar. Sure, I'd heard of them before on the Dublin scene, but that's the record that really made me take notice. You may remember I reviewed the single from the LP, Winona Ryder, last year. For obvious reasons, since 2020, this was my first opportunity to catch them live, and it just so happened to be one of their biggest gigs yet. Following a few points in Malahide Village, you could really hear the hum of excitement as everyone strolled through the gates of the castle towards the field. Everyone was in good form and brimming with anticipation to see these guys. Following the American group The Killers earlier on Tuesday in this same location, it's always good to see one of our own bands do so well and play such a big venue too. What struck me most about them when they came on stage though was the energy of lead singer Ryan Hennessy. He has this arrogance about him, but for me it's not unlikable, it's charming. Now his attitude might not be to everyone's taste, but in the modern sanitised landscape of the pop world, this guy parades around stage like a rock star, and that's what I want from a frontman. He takes his top off revealing a heavily tattooed torso, he smashed up a mic stand, and he cursed a bit, although he did apologise to his ma who was in the audience for that. <laughs> None of this is a bad thing, folks. I want my rock stars to be rock stars, not bloody Cliff Richard. Aside from the aesthetics, the band sounded great and they have this fantastic chemistry. You can hear in nuances of how they play that they've grown up together and sonically they are so well rehearsed and tight. This is the big time and they know it. Set list wise, they didn't disappoint and played all the songs I wanted to hear and didn't even leave them all till the end. Out of the 17 songs, Winona Ryder, LA House Party and the gorgeous ballad Never Change all came in the first seven. They tore up the last half hour rocking it out though. Cups of beer got raised in the air and thrown on the ground, crunching under our feet as we jumped and danced and sang with the band celebrating all this success with them and they fed off that. Unlike the killers on Tuesday who came on stage well after 9pm, Picture this were on stage just after 8.30, which actually gave the crowd a chance to catch the last train home, which I appreciated. Support act wise, we got the up and coming Irish singer Moncrief, who was quite good as everyone sat in the grass and listened and soaked it all in. He was followed by UK pop rock band The Vamps, who I caught at the Isle of Wight Festival back in 2014. They have a decent sound themselves and it was cool to see them again. The audience for this gig was kind of a mixed bag, everything from teenage girls, couples, gangs of friends and families with kids. In the world of electronic dance crap, it's good to see these demographics showing up in such large numbers to witness an actual band play their instruments. All in all, it was a terrific evening's entertainment guys and I'd suggest you catch them this summer if you can. Sure, I'll leave a link below in the description to their website and you can check out the dates yourselves. I'm curious though guys, are you a picture this fan or do you intend to see them this summer? Sure let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel now. I'll see you next time.